It was Moscow's most famous eyesore, the Hotel Russia, just off Red Square. It was the biggest in the world when it was built, and maybe the ugliest, looming over some of the world's most beautiful architecture. Now this Moscow monstrosity is coming down, slowly disappearing from the bank of the Moscow River. This hotel is very famous, says the director of the demolition, Nikolai Cherkanov, but it was built almost 50 years ago, and now its time has passed. The Russia's 6,000 beds were meant to house communist officials from far and wide. But it was an inn with little comfort, famous for its lousy food, plentiful cockroaches, and ever-present key ladies who spied on guests. Though the rooms had a view to die for, the Russia was done in by the competition. <laughs> Moscow needs state-of-the-art, civilized hotels, says the city's mayor, Yuri Luzhkov. We're tearing down the ones that are low quality. So now, behind the scaffolding, workmen are literally ripping the Russia apart one floor at a time and carting it away. Hundreds of people are working round the clock trying to get the bulk of the work done before winter sets in. It might have been faster just to blow the thing up, but it couldn't be done. Not only is the Russia surrounded by churches, but it's got electricity and sewer lines running underneath that are still in use, serving the Kremlin. The Russia was so big, it will be replaced by a whole neighborhood. This super prime real estate will include several small hotels, office buildings, and a theater, all to be built in a classical style that will fit in with the surroundings better than the Russia ever did. This will turn into a place where Muscovites can relax, as opposed to just a place for visitors, says the construction chief. The Russia is just one of many architectural landmarks that have fallen victim to Moscow's construction boom. All over the city, old buildings are being raised to make room for apartments, business centers, and shopping malls. The Russia may be unique because few are mourning its loss. Though it was known to every tourist who visited Moscow, the hotel just never fit in on Red Square. Taking it away will erase a big chunk of Soviet history, but it sure will improve the view. Beth Noble, CBS News, Moscow.